Morley Notes, 2nd November, 2022 Shrimat is instructions about how to become fully concentrated, non-dependent and empowered. The fragmented intellect is weak. Fragmentation is due to depending on people, places and things that are unreliable and to which you are in bondage. You transform relationships of dependence to independent life on earth through taking all support from God only. This requires clear understanding of the philosophy of karma, powerful yoga, and competence in interpersonal relationships. This is why it says in the Gita that yoga is skill in action. Without clear knowledge of soul, God, karma and drama, it is not possible to acquire such skill. Instead, further karmic bondages will be created. The human problem is that people's minds and intellects are caught in various misconceptions. You are all making effort to get free from many forms of misconception. Deep self-checking includes discerning which misconceptions you are laboring under. To what extent are prevailing social attitudes, assumptions and elements of bhakti mixed into your interpretation of jnana and yoga? Purification also includes identifying and removing such misconceptions. This requires deep study of the Muralis. The wandering mind is the distracted mind, pulled by your attachment to your socialization. For this, Baba gave the mantra, forget your body, your bodily relations, your bodily religions, cultures and prevailing ideas, and remember one alone. Take time to sit with this mantra and discern the deep meaning and implications. Identify to what extent your morality, lack of knowledge and expertise, hesitation and uncertainty interfere with your ability to perform karma skillfully. Use Srimat to get your mind and intellect free from the pulls and distractions of social and religious conventions. On one hand, you connect yourself in yoga and focus your mind on God, yet instantly you become body conscious and your mind gets distracted by thoughts of people, influencers, past incidents and circumstances. This is because you are mentally bound to many friends, relatives and acquaintances. Now, let them go from your mind. Make your relationship with the One. Give a dominant position in your mind to Shiv Baba and his teachings. Make all others secondary. When you forget you are a soul and think you are a body, then you get caught in bodily relationships. Since you're not a body, there are no bodily relations who can justify exerting power and influence over you and denying you your freedom. You can discern if a lokic relative, friend, employer or acquaintance is attempting to limit you 
when what they want from you goes against Srimat. There is a conflict of interest. Maintain your relationship with Srimat and they cannot take control over you or make you give away your power. This is the speciality of Srimat. When you follow Srimat and do not follow Paramat, which is the same as Manmat, then you have made your relationship with Shiv Baba firm. The same applies in the Alokic environment. The Alokic environment may be more problematic since people may claim they are putting pressure on you in the name of Srimat, respect or any other ploy motivated by one or another vice. Do not let your mind slide over to the influence of another and thereby disconnect from Shiv Baba. Otherwise, you will have difficulty connecting with Shiv Baba in yoga. For half the cycle, you were caught in those influences and misconceptions. Live in the midst of the obstacles of the world of mortality and impermanence while in intimate connection with God. There are relationships of bondage and relationships of harmony. Know the difference and activate your choice to live in relationships of harmony. Where there is harm, restriction, oppression, suppression, that is a relationship of bondage. Break free from such relationships using the method of Srimat. Where you are able to build harmony, it is a relationship of freedom from bondage. The two are mutually exclusive. Your bondage to things of the old world order are due to your karmic accounts and socialization. Om Shanti.